Inside Bushwick Brooklyn's Industrial Warehouse District, One Carbon Technology Company is transforming Earth's biggest environmental challenge into sustainable solutions. Air Company, founded in 2017, has developed groundbreaking methods that convert carbon dioxide into valuable products, from aviation fuel to vodka. We've been built uh, for the premise of you know, taking CO2, one of the most abundant greenhouse gases on, on planet Earth, and taking that carbon dioxide and utilizing it to create uh, industrial fuels and chemicals uh, to help shape our future. The company's journey began with a bold vision, merging creativity with technology to tackle climate change. Their Brooklyn facility, known as the Air Technology Center, serves as their headquarters for innovation. A lot of the R&D, a lot of the pilot scale development uh, happens here in this facility. What you'll see throughout the space is CO2 and hydrogen are the core inputs to what we do. But how exactly does this technology work? Constantine says Air Company's proprietary reactor system was developed to mimic nature itself. The very premise of our technology has been uh, off the back of mimicking uh, photosynthesis, which is doing exactly what a tree does, only faster and more efficient, right? You're, you're taking in CO2 and you're using the sun's energy in order to put out oxygen. We're agnostic on the source of CO2 so we can take the source of carbon dioxide from anywhere. So you'll see our electrolyzers that are in the space. You know, uh, you know this is what creates hydrogen from water and electricity. Once that, that hydrogen from these electrolyzers is fed into our large scale reactor, along with the CO2 that comes directly from this tank, that hydrogen and CO2 combines with our catalysts inside these reactors as part of the entire air made process to produce some of the chemicals and e-fuels that create our eventual products. Air Company's innovation first caught public attention with an unexpected product, vodka. In 2019, they launched the world's first vodka made from carbon dioxide, which earned Time Magazine's Invention of the Year. But this was just the beginning. We've had a really interesting uh, company kind of trajectory, I would say, because we started off the business as a, as a technology company but selling B2C products so that we could monetize our research and development. So the first consumer-based products that we created was a beverage product, a vodka, made from the, this technology, as well as things like a hand sanitizer that we put out during the pandemic uh, and a perfume. Today, the company's primary focus is on sustainable aviation fuel partnering with major airlines and even the U.S. Department of Defense. We've got some incredible partners in the aviation space. You know, everyone from Air Canada to Virgin Atlantic to JetBlue, who are also an investor of ours. We actually flew the first ever plane on a CO2 derived fuel with the U.S. Department of Defense and the Air Force. Yeah, several years ago, we actually fueled a small unmanned plane with a 100% drop in fuel. The fuel burns exactly the same as traditional jet fuel. Their success has attracted substantial investments. To date, Air Company has raised over $110 million. Notable investors include car manufacturers like Toyota, highlighting the broad potential applications of their products. The ability to see inside a, you know, a 5,000 square foot facility like this is the ability to deploy smaller pieces of modular technology that can allow for scale up as well as do testing in an environment like this. Typically a facility of this size could have the ability to produce you know, thousands of gallons a month. While current production costs exceed traditional fossil fuels, Air Company is focused on scaling their technology to make it cost competitive. The goal over the next three to five years is to scale globally, not just in the US, but, all, but to countries around the world. You know, that demand for our technology, but for our end product uh, is almost endless. By the end of this decade, Air Company aims to produce tens, if not hundreds of millions of gallons of sustainable fuel per year. Perhaps most compelling is their vision for energy independence. A really important aspect into why people should care about you know, purchasing products that have been made by feedstocks such as CO2 is that these feedstocks are abundant. You know, when you're creating a fuel that's made from you know, fossil-based fuels, you know, over the course of time, those feedstocks will dry up and they will continue to you know, hurt our planet, but they don't allow us to be secure in our sources of energy. CO2 is everywhere and we have the ability to produce at any level of scale because of that feedstock. And it's something that is gonna propel humanity forward ahead into our future. In Bushwick, Brooklyn, I'm Chris Castellino.